Hi guys, welcome to Micro Homesteaders. I'm Merle. And I'm Carol. And uh, first thing we want to do is apologize for not having a video out for uh, a week, which is unusual for us. But we've been doing some things that have to do with our channel that are not very interesting. So we're going to try to do better. But the reason we're here today is that uh, we have been tagged by uh, Homegrown Country Homestead to do the five questions about gardening. And I realized, or I just did realize, that we don't really have any gardening videos up yet as we're only about three months into uh, our new channel. But we do have uh, some intent to show you that we have intent to do a garden and uh, we'll show you <laughs> just a few of the garden seeds that Carol's got and uh, she organizes the seeds and what we're going to plant and I have been doing something else and what we're showing here is uh, about uh, what is it six truckloads of seasoned black angus cow manure uh, and every gardener wants to have something like that so we'll bring ourselves back in here and we will make an attempt to answer the questions and the first question is why do we garden carol you like to take that yes we garden because we love fresh vegetables and we love to grow our own food. We like to know where it came from and how it's grown and we like to put things up for the winter so that uh, we have our own food and it just that's doesn't, about it. It just doesn't get any better than having, no. having your own, especially in the summertime when you can go out in the garden and, and get pretty much whatever you want to bring in and eat. Um, we do spend gobs of time in the fall though when everything is plentiful canning and filling the pantry and uh, we used to think that um, maybe one year's worth of food was was plenty but we think lately that probably two years minimum is the way to go and that is why we guard Th those reasons and many others that we couldn't even think of so number two is why do we YouTube and I'll try to grab that I'm a kind of a the kind of a guy that likes to do electronic things and this that and the other and I and another fellow who uh, is his name is uh, Giles Warham started a show uh, actually a live show and it's called uh, World of Live Streaming and uh, that was about a year ago so that thing has grown almost <laughs> at a, a rate that you would that's hard to believe but at any rate I enjoy doing video and uh, you know be it live video or, or what have you and uh, the complications that you can run into and the things that you can learn are just, you know, it's a challenge. I, I guess I would put it that way. Uh, but mostly the reason that we YouTube right now is because we absolutely love the community, the homesteading community. And we don't care if you're in a, uh, in a two-room apartment or... Uh, 2,000 acre ranch. We're, we're all doing the best we can with what we got. And uh, I think that's what it's all about. So number three is how long have we gardened? And that's a good one for Carol, I think, too. Well, come May, we'll be married 50 years and we've gardened all of our married life. And I gardened when I was a kid 
with my grandma and my mom. Uh, if we didn't garden, we didn't eat. So that was a good motivator. But I love gardening. Yeah, she, uh, you know, in the wintertime, she'll get flowers and we've, we've, we've <laughs> looks like a greenhouse all around our our home here. Uh, she just can't keep her fingers out of the dirt. So we are longtime gardeners, though she's done more gardening than I have. And uh, she knows what she's doing. But we have been learning a lot, too. We're going to do raised beds this year, which we've never done. And um, adding to our clay soil the uh, the black Angus manure that that I showed you a minute ago, you know, build that build that soil up. If it's if it's no good, put in it whatever you need to. All the leaf molds that we the leaves that we've collected and uh, broke down. Yeah, it takes a lot of work, but mm -hmm. uh, if you enjoy it, uh, that's that's what it's all about. And uh, number four, what do we grow? We grow a little bit of everything. Um, tomatoes, peppers, onions, garlic, leek, broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage, collards, kale, turnips, turnip greens. Just about anything that you can grow in all kinds of lettuce in central indiana weather yes. we do now our garden is, may not be as big as some so some of the things that takes a lot of room like uh, watermelons and and those v big viney things sometimes we don't do as many of those as we'd like because we need the space for other things but uh, boy i sure do like my okra i'll tell you that uh, yeah and yeah, we both do. Yeah, we do, yeah, for sure. And number five is, and I don't know how you answer this one, what is your most favorite vegetable to grow? That, that's that got to be difficult. Tomatoes. I almost have to agree. You know, tomatoes are seem to be the first thing that we that we want to get ripe so we can get them in the house and, and, get, them, and get to yes. eating them. So. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go with that. Yeah. So uh, that leaves us with uh, the fact that we are to pick five people to sag to do the very same thing we just did. And one of the things that we wanted to try to do was get some young, new YouTubers involved in these things and uh, one of those guys is uh, Evans Homestead he, and he's going to be a, a new YouTuber to watch I think yeah Evans Homestead so Evan yeah you're on notice uh, number two is Cedar Creek Homestead now he's another new YouTuber to watch and uh yeah, I was watching him actually yesterday, and I like some of the things he has to say. Number three, Northeast Homestead. Now, these guys, they just do it. They do whatever's necessary, and they have, I don't know, maybe 700, 800 uh, subscribers, and they uh, are striving for a 1,000. So let's see if we can help them out there and and Northeast Homestead uh, I sure hope you haven't already been tagged because I'd like to see you do this number four is Lonely Pines and these guys are uh, what I would call urban homesteaders they don't have a lot of uh, a lot of space to do much but they're doing everything they can with what they've got and I would watch for these guys to move to the country uh, as soon as they possibly can. And number five is Almost Homestead. Now, I thought that he had already done this question thing for the garden, but I, I, I took another look yesterday, and he hasn't. So I'm anxious to see him do that. And he, he's a, or I say he, 
they are a uh, quickly growing channel. It's uh, Jay in Vir Virginia, and they've got one of the most beautiful places you'd ever want to see. So if you haven't already, go take a look at Almost Homestead, and uh, think you'll 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 enjoy what you see there. So I think we pretty much kind of did it all and uh, hopefully we didn't put anybody to sleep and uh, it's our intention to start getting videos up to uh, at the rate of at least a couple a week yes and, it is and uh, I think that's pretty much it for micro homesteaders so do subscribe and uh, give us a like yeah and and share a video if you think you can find somebody that can stand it bye bye guys until the next time bye bye bye